Hello. <laughs> Putting turbos in, man. Girls, quick. Okay, so the first cool feature of the new 2019 Jeep JL Rubicon is going through the digital dash, which obviously is a cool display compared to the old JK setup. You've got your normal vehicle info here, but if you scroll one more down, you've got the off road pages, which shows if your front sway bar is connected or disconnected, and it also shows your pitch and roll to the degree. And you can come over here and go through your apps, go to off-road pages, and it's going to give you these options plus many more. So it's got your drivetrain. It literally tells you steering angle, transfer case, whether it's in two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, four high or four low. You've got your rear axle locker locked or unlocked. Right now, obviously, it's unlocked. Same with the front axle. It shows locked or unlocked and then shows if your sway bar is connected or disconnected, which all can be controlled by the buttons down here then you can go through your accessory gauges and so this is all stuff that you really want to pay attention to when you're off-roading because sometimes jeeps do like to get hot such as the oil and the coolant temp and then you can see your pitch and roll to see just how uneven you are when off-roading in moab <laughs> and this is pretty cool it shows the elevation and then it actually shows uh longitude and latitude north and west that is pretty cool features and that's definitely one of the neat features of the 2019 jeep wrangler Another hidden feature of the Jeep Wrangler JL is they now have integrated the windshield washer squirters in the handle. So if you ever plan on taking the hood off, just note that you will lose windshield washer fluid and you will have to use uh, just the windshield wipers without any fluid. So I thought that was kind of a cool feature, but also could be a pain in the butt if people like to take their hoods off or if you want to do an aftermarket hood. But with this being a Rubicon, it's got the, if you remember, the JK had the 10th anniversary style hood. This is kind of what it mimics, uh, but it is really cool that they integrate it in the handles. However, if you ever change the hood out or for some reason you have the hood off, just note that you will not have windshield washer fluid. Now, a third and unique feature is how they integrated the rear backup camera is they put it right in the middle of the spare tire. There is a lock and unlock for the spare tire, but they did something really cool. You can see this one's kind of dirty, but they did something really cool by integrating that rear camera into the spare tire. And if you can see, it's kind of at an angle, which helps because if you are off-roading, you can actually pull up the backup screen while you're driving and actually look at the camera. Now that would be really helpful if there was a front camera for off-roading, which is something I wish it had, which I have seen people add, is a front camera here, because since you can pull up the cameras through the dash here, it'd be really nice to see that while you're off-roading. So actually you can go here, where did I see it? Oh, under controls. And so you can actually pull this up while you're driving, just like my new 2019 Ram 1500. And so what's cool is if you're off-roading, you could pull this up while you're actually off-roading and see if you're gonna fall off a cliff or not. Another awesome feature is this hidden cup holder that you can find when you're doing some tailgating action. It's actually built right into the tailgate and it fits perfectly. You can fit a cup or a small can. Obviously it's really windy out so the can doesn't want to stay or the cup. But, and right below that, not going to say this is a hidden feature, but it's pretty cool. It gives you the breakdown of the wheelbase of the two-door and the four-door and it shows you water fording. So look at that. Some pretty cool info that they integrate on the tug. I think that's just one of those nice pieces that isn't necessary, but it's something that you really appreciate if you have one. Had a Jeep before, you know that everything is Torx bit on the outside. So it's a Torx bit for the doors. There's one underneath to get the actual doors off. There's one here. There's some on the inside to get the windshield down. And then there's some for the hard top. If you have a hard top, there's Torx bits back here. And Jeep is actually cool enough to provide the tools for that. What's even cooler is that all these bolts, so from the hard top, if you lift this back piece up, it's actually got spots for all the bolts, which come in really handy. This way you don't lose them all. So you've got your door hinge bolts here. 
you've got your roof bolts here and then your windshield bolts here this way it keeps them organized you know exactly which ones go where because they are sized slightly differently and then you don't lose them and then if you pull this up that is actually where your jack is pretty neat feature so that is five of the some of the uniquest features that I have seen on the Jeep JL Rubicon. Now we're gonna go over some features that you may have known or may not have known, but they're kind of small and really cool. So when you pull the hard top off, it actually gives you this little plastic piece here. It's kind of hard to see. And that will actually hold the windshield washer fluid tube and then this little outlet for the hard top for all the lights. So when you take off the hard top, it has a place for all that stuff to sit in. This one does have the sound package, so it's got the subwoofer back here. It is an all-weather subwoofer, so if you get that wet, it is not a problem. However, I haven't tested that, so you're on your own if you uh, actually get that soaked. And what's really cool is it's actually removable, so if you want to remove it, it's just a small plastic enclosure, and then you've got more storage area if you want to go out of town and you don't actually need the subwoofer enclosure. Another cool feature of these new Jeep JL Rubicons is you can spec them out with uh, blind spot assist and rear lane assist all those features they're actually integrated into the tail light here seamlessly so they actually flow pretty cool they're pointed out away from the body so that they can detect if someone is getting too close to the vehicle but it's really cool how they actually integrated these with the tail lights and you've got your blind spot assist here in the mirror for those but the way that they did it is really cool plus the JK did not have that option but this being a JL and a brand new vehicle, they finally have that option. Another cool feature that I noticed when I actually opened the tailgate was that this piece is usually cut out for the spare tire to sit in. That way it fits down there. But it's not just plastic underneath. It actually becomes a sturdy step. So if you need to reach something up top to help get the hard top off, that is a very sturdy step. Going along around the vehicle, you notice that they include the Jeep symbols everywhere. These wheels actually have the old school Jeep symbol on there. They've integrated it into the windshield. Oh yeah, it's on that side. <laughs> Jeep got me on that one. They've actually integrated it into the windshield right there. So that's how you know if someone has an aftermarket or an actual OEM windshield. But they include Jeep symbols, Jeep designs everywhere. Probably one of my favorite though is actually in the headlight which this one actually does not have because these are the upgraded headlights so if you had the regular halogen headlights you'd actually see a jeep grill back there but this one does not actually have it because it has the led upgrade so it just simply says jeep right across the top a cool feature and this is rubicon specific is it already got a winch plate back there and you can remove the end caps here such as the old school jk 10th anniversary now this just comes on your regular old rubicon which is really cool and probably my last and most favorite feature of these jeeps is being able to walk up to the door and just open it without a key so the remoteless entry and unlocking the handles is very cool obviously it's almost on all the new vehicles and usually wranglers they try and keep them more rough and rugged so they don't include these types of features but it's pretty cool that they have finally included this on a jeep wrangler all right, so those are all the cool features of the 2019 Jeep Wrangler JL. Now, one of the most hated features, and I hate this on a lot of new vehicles, I had it on one of my F-150s and it drove me nuts, is the auto start-stop feature. I think that's so annoying. And especially, this one is pretty laggy, actually. We'll see if we can get it to do it here. Ooh. There it goes. <laughs> you can't hear it, but it's super laggy. A lot of vehicles, I think like BMW, Mercedes, they've really figured it out, but it's a newer feature to Jeep, and they have not figured it out because it's pretty laggy. There's, You can feel like there's at least a second time lapse in there. I'm sure it's longer, but it feels very laggy. So that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you found out some new cool features that you did not know about the 2019 Jeep Wrangler JL. This one is a Rubicon, so it is spec'd out to the max. The only thing it doesn't have is it doesn't have the auxiliary inputs, but it does have the media hub, all the LED upgrades. Um, it doesn't have, yep, that's pretty much it actually has everything else so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as always make sure you follow me on instagram and snapchat vanby39 if you guys want to see more review videos and more five unique thing videos hit that subscribe button <laughs> give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and we'll see you guys on the next one